West Coast Swing is not just a form of dance. It is an art form that you can take and create your own style and make it completely your own. I ain't no after stumbling upon West Coast Swing when I was about 15 years old, I had a routine within two weeks and I traveled to California about five weeks after I discovered the dance and competed for the first time at a major event and it turns out that event is the main event, the biggest event for West Coast Swing and it was, it was a big experience for me. First time I'm dancing Lindy Hop, South France, and I do the Sicilian swing. And I watch for a demonstration, Jordan and Tatiana dance, and in my head I say, okay, I stop the Lindy Hop, I do West Coast swing. about West Coast Swing is the ability for the follower to interact and to take the lead a little bit and the power that she has within the dance to participate. She's had a really good moments and relationships with certain partners. Um, for example, Robert Royston dancing with Henry and Strictly and being his partner. So, the reason I love this dance is because I can do it to any kind of music. I get to include myself in the dance. Although it's lead follow, he's leading, I'm following. I get to influence him. I get to have some say in what happens. I love this dance because it's the only dance I know. <laughs> And it's the only dance I want to learn. It's absolutely amazing. I have no desire nor the time to learn anything else. It's just, it's a great dance. And I'll tell you what I really love about it is I really love um, being around the people in this dance. I'm from Poland and I used to dance when I was in Poland. And when I moved here, I didn't dance much, but I did go to a church and I worked with the youth. And this one lady approached me with an article that there was these free West Coast swing classes and all she gave me was the two names that were on there which was Tommy Grenade I love dancing because you get to put on this character every time um, you know it's kind of like acting and however you feel you can apply that at that moment and it's a good kind of therapy for yourself as well um, just to kind of get it all out there, all that energy out there So I started swing dancing in 1985, a friend of mine's mom brought me to a dance. Uh, he and I were sitting around doing nothing. And I was sitting there at 15 years old, and this 65-year-old lady walked up and asked me to dance. She said, do you swing dance? I said, no ma'am, I don't. And she said, well, you're going to learn. And she stood me up and she taught me how to swing dance. So we did two or three dances. She taught me East Coast Swing. And then she taught me a little bit of West Coast Swing. And then I sat back down, and minutes later, this 19-year-old girl walked up and asked me to dance. And I quickly realized that girls like boys who dance. Being a West Coast Swing dancer allowed me to get a job on Broadway and to dance on Broadway. Um, and because I moved to New York and danced on Broadway, I met my wife. And I met my wife because of West Coast Swing. Um, in New York and so there's moments like that that are so ultimately uh, important to me because they were life-changing. I went to my first event and it was uh, actually called Tampa Bay Classic uh, maybe about three or four, four years ago now, about four years ago uh, and I was like oh my god there's people under 50 who do this dance uh, and I thought it was awesome. Uh, I actually found one of my first junior partners there, Agnes. I met her there. There's a lot of great people there that I met and pretty much that's what really sparked up my interest uh, was being at an event dancing until 6 a.m. I love West Coast Swing because you can have your own dance to any song, any style, with any person, anytime, anywhere, no matter what you're wearing, no matter what shoes you have, no matter what floor you're on, 
no matter even really if the music is even swingable, we still have a great time and we still come together as a community and as a partnership and we share a moment. That's why West Coast Swing is awesome. <laughs> No matter what we do in West Coast Swing, it's constantly evolving and it's becoming something new, something new that we can learn. There's always new techniques and there's, it's never, it's never a dead end. It never feels like we're going to cap on the best that we can become. There's always more. So I was just about to be a senior in high school and my mom dragged me out. I did not want to go dancing and she said, we're going to go get ice cream and none of my friends were home and so I had to go with her. Um, I couldn't get out of it, couldn't say like, oh, I have homework to do. <laughs> So I love West Coast Swing because there can be a moment, it's usually really late at night and you have this, what we call connection, but it's this perfect moment where you are literally talking to someone and it's all with your body, you don't have to speak the same language. Um, you know, you don't have to be in the same place in life, you don't have to be the same age, you don't have to be, you know, the same anything, the same background, and you are sharing a moment with that person, and you feel them, and it's for just a moment, and that's it, and then it's gone, and it's done. It doesn't get any better than that, um, but it's what I keep coming back for. Gun, 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 gun. Hit me. to go dance. I get paid to do my hobby. What do you do?